Alright guys, welcome back to another Tyler 2 production. Today, we need the chair because right here we got a squirmel. A squirmel, I cannot... This is what a squirmel is. This is a squirmel. Can you, have you guys ever seen these before? It's just like a little furry worm looking thing. Have you guys ever seen one? Let me lower the camera. Maybe that's our problem. Got the green screen today. We're doing a squirmel, a squirmel video in green screen. Until there, that's a little better. Anyway, this is what a squirmel is, and it's some kind of thing that you can kind of move around. You can do quite a few tricks with it. It just kind of depends. Oh, yeah. Now I need to. I don't know what that is. So this is what a squirmel can do. It can weave in your fingers. It can do all sorts of different things. Ingrid said that uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to use a squirmel. If you guys have one. Um, they're also called magic worms and squirmels and burger pickers. Who knows what they're called. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to use a squirmel. So you know me, I'm in the magic working. I've been in ma I've been doing magic for about 6 years. Definitely be a street performer in my age here. 10 years old, 11 years old as a matter of fact. I don't even remember my very own age. Is that really funny whenever you're doing something and you can't remember your own friggin' age? That's just so messed up. And you can make your squirmel move, and however you want your squirmel to move. You can bounce him through cups, you can go him through pencils. All right, are you ready for me to teach you guys how to use a squirmel? Right now. Now, before I do teach you guys how to use a squirmel, I got a really cool, funny trick. You guys want to pet him? Here, go to the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, he's a little shy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Squirmels are very shy, and I'm going to tell you why. Because this little worm here, they're all, all ornery and shy. See, he just, like, goes through my hand. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to use a squirmel. A squirmel is pretty easy. I'm going to show you guys for first how to make him go around your finger. Come on, squirm. Ow. So, whoo, he did a backflip. Now, he's a really good entertainer. Internetainer. Internetainer. Yeah, that's an internet social mediaist. Fetch, 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 fetch. Good boy. All right, we're going to teach you right now. Here's how to use a squirm. First thing, you're going to need a squirm. You're going to need the invisible thread right there. Can you guys see that? kind of and then you're gonna need the tape and then the thread so here's a spool of thread with some tape you're just gonna tape it in your pants now I'm gonna step over to the camera so you nobody can see and you're just gonna like put that tape you don't want it there now this is where this happens now we're gonna have to lower the camera for you guys to see all right all right, let's see here. Here's basically what you do. Once it's in your pants, you can either tuck this in so that way the whenever the invisible thread moves, it does not actually affect how people look at it and they immediately know that, hey, he's got invisible thread to make sure maybe they don't see it. Cause now, here's how this works. You got your invisible thread from right here all the way down to your pants. Now you put it over your hip thumb and he goes around your thumb and through. Now, it's going to take you a minute to kind of work with it, but now I'm going to show you how to make him go through your fingers. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to put the invisible thread here. I wish I wish I had another type of thread I could put on there, but I don't. I have some I have some invisible thread, real magician's invisible thread with magician's wax in my case, but I'm not going to get that down. Um, uh, 
Here's how you did weave them. You put the string, the invisible thread, over your thumb like this. So it would go around if you were to do that. Then you're going to take the invisible string and you're going to dang it, and you're going to weave it. So it goes under the first finger, above the middle finger, under the third third finger and under the and over the pinky. So then whenever you pull your hand forward, that pulls the string from your pants and you may need to give it a tug cuz it doesn't go out through very well. You may need to kind of adjust your hand the right way. But here, now, whenever you're on stage and you're kind of just, when you turn around, uh, hurry up and kind of weave it. And then just kind of get it. And see how it takes a long time for it to uh, do that. So, yeah, if you guys want to see another video on my squirmel and you guys want me to teach you more tricks like how to get it to go around your finger, you just wrap it around your finger and then pull up. Wrap the string around your finger as many times, and you pull. Wrap, 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 wrap. All right, guys, so this is how you guys work with your squirmel. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to tuck it away. You hold, you f take the squirmel, and you stretch it like this. So the string starts here, it goes down, and then your squirmel goes up. You grab it right here, and you fold it down there. Then you grab it in your hand with the string, and then you pull on the string and give it some slack. So, basically, it's going to look like this. You come up to the camera, and as you pull, that's going to take the nose back. So, this is going on the YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, this is kind of how you work with your squirmel. It's that easy, that simple. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.